Welcome everyone to the Medical Device School. So, uh, how are you today? Uh, today we will talk about uh, should we prepare first, uh, develop first a product, or should we start uh, first with the documentation? And for that, I still have with me Stefan Boleininger uh, from B on Quality. Uh, and uh, Stefan, so what is your uh, opinion on that? Should you create first a product or create the documentation? Oh, that's the, that's depend on the on the term product. If you're a startup and you want to go to your investors, or venture capitals, you need a product. You okay. don't need documentation. Okay. You need a product. If you want to have the product to the market, then you should go documentation first. So, I would define if you're real innovative and a new thing, then create first a few snippets of the product. First step, if you know it's demonstration and it works, a bit of it then start with documentation first and then build a real product. Or if you extend the product or make a new feature, something like that, then, first, then always document first because document gives you a strategy. Yeah, and uh, I I saw sometime on some on some technical files or, or dossier that uh, the team the R and D team went a bit too fast and started really to create the final product and then they asked themselves, okay. Uh, I need a design dossier. I need to present that. So, uh, but you need to have your user requirements first. You need to have your uh, all the, the the meetings you have done for uh, for the the project, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, but they have nothing, so they have to recreate everything from from scratch. And I think it's not really the right method to go through a development of a product and to be sold on the market. Absolutely. If you want to build a house, you need to make a plan first. Because if you don't do, it's not sustainable. And that's the thing. We want to build safe and sustainable products. And you have that also to show this plan at the end. And to, I mean, it's like one episode we have done about gap assessment. You have the plan, which is the future or what, what you want to have. And you have the reality and you see there is a gap between both. But, uh, but is that you need a plan before you can really build the, build the, build the product. Yes. And, um, you know, I am from Germany. Um, we always have first a plan for everything and then a second plan. That's part of our natural. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's really great. Yeah. I think it's, uh, it's, uh, yeah. It's, uh, I know some countries where they have no plan. They just start and heads up and then they find the problems uh, uh, afterwards. But, uh, but it's great. So, uh, in terms of ISO 13485, there are some requirements to have some, uh, design phase, uh, where you have a lot of steps to follow. Um, in the case, for example, uh, a company is uh, getting a product. Can we retrospectively uh, make some design dossier or design files or not? Well, you can, yes, but then it's only paper. Yeah. And I don't want to write paper because I need, I want to create the documentation to have, uh, um, to reduce effort and make my best knowledge in it. So I need to do it very quick on Starting and it does not mean to be that it needs to be perfect at start. No, but it needs to give the R and D team the way you want to go. For example, what do you need the internal purpose or something like that? That's always needed at first because you demand if you change a few words in your claims, then you will need to go maybe for a clinical trial or a clinical study. Yeah. If you need to do that and you do it at the end once you have your product finished, it will take you a year back. So it's also not only about make a product quick and fast to market. The product it also has more impact on it. So at first we need at least a small information about it, architecture, the out interfaces to the patient, to our user, and that the, uh, how you want to proceed with it. So also project planning or something like that. And I think the user needs is also something really important. You cannot just start a project and say, oh, I will be the product without really knowing what the user are needing for, for this product. Fully agree. If you don't, if you, well, if you do not have the user, uh, user needs and the requirements from the user, you don't need what kind of product the user really needs. Or in the end, you will most likely at the end fail with your product validation or fail in the market. Yeah, no, it's clear. And so that's, that's something. I think. Uh, I think the conclusion of this is mainly that, uh, yeah, as you said, so if you are a startup and innovative uh, company, so go with the product. But if you are really um, heading to the market, uh, start with your documentation or start with documentation, even if it's not perfect, you can still make it better all along the journey for the for the project. 
And uh, then uh, the regulators, the notified bodies will be satisfied and will have nothing to say to you. So good. So thank you, Stefan. Uh, and uh, yeah, people, uh, just uh, don't forget to go to the, um, the website of podcast.ismedicaldevice.com just to get some information and maybe also some articles that we select and uh, put uh, on the show notes. So thank you and thank you, Stefan. Thank you. Pleasure.